What's up, everybody, and welcome to, well, an episode of Kerbal Space Program. I mean, look at our little Kerbal. He seems excited. And before you guys say anything, I know that's supposed to be an arc bay. But the base I'm building an arc is, uh, <laughs> it's pretty huge. And getting stone just for the foundation is taking me a long time. But I promise that we'll be back next week and we will be getting things ready for us to go into a cave. But for right now, just to make sure we have something out, I decided let's go ahead and do Kerbal Space Program. Mun or bust. Now, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, this game is pretty hard. And since we're not, I'm not doing a playthrough of this right now, we're going to be playing in Sandbox. So let's just call ourselves the G Team. And pick our flag. Let's go with circles. I'm going to go with circles. That's going to be our flag. Alright, so for those of you who don't really know this game, there's actually a new one going to be coming out, but that's not till March, and I am really excited about it, because I absolutely love this game. That said though, this game is basically your own personal NASA, or SpaceX if you will. I mean, you can go ahead and make all kinds of airplanes, with a couple limits, but that's mainly based off of uh, whether or not you can <laughs> actually do that in real life. So... Alright, well, here's our base, so let's see, where's the tracking station? Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now, let's see, where is the MUN? Should we aim for the MUN? Because honestly, my goal for today was just to get a space station set up in orbit. And then, well, yeah, that was it, like a multi-phase space station. Which is honestly going to be <laughs> a pain in the butt to do. But... We could try to get a rover to Mun. You know what? Let's let's gun for that one. I will leave the space station for another day. So for now, we need to build ourselves a rover. Now, so we're gonna go with this for the rover body. Now I'm gonna keep this design really simple because holy wheel size. It's. I mean, we are in creative, so I'm not really too worried about it. But we can die for a, well, not die, but everything is going to explode. Is the easiest way to put it. So let's find ourselves some batteries now that we have the wheels on. Your rechargeable bank. Okay, let's go ahead and put that one on. Let's go with two of those. And should we put one underneath? Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Alright, so that'll be underneath. Let's do this and there we go now we have all the wheels so solar panels we need solar panels to make sure we can power this and I want to say these ones should do it let's take a look at these shall we hmm I don't know how I feel about those ones too much but we can put them right there and I would be 100% fine with that Go ahead and get some communication going. Let's use this antenna. But let's only do it in one part. So, that wrong button. How do I do this again? Okay, we're there. And no, we're not. Wait, did we have it? Let's see. Ah, uh, we had it the wrong way. See and boom. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna get rid of this. I don't feel like we need this. Uh, and should we add another some more wheels? You know what? I'm gonna add more wheels. There we go. Now let's run a quick test. Make sure all of this actually well drives. All right. So here is our little rover and. Oh no, <laughs> we need the wheel on this side. But it does seem like everything works. It does seem pretty stable, which is great. So let's go ahead and return to the station. If I can. Okay, so we need to make sure we have all six wheels. There we go. Okay, now just because it's... Oh, we're doing science stuff. We need a drill. Wait, what is that one again? Mobility. No, I don't need that one. I need a 
drill. Not that big. Here we go. This one, sh this that should be just fine. Now, just for balance purposes, let's go ahead and put one back here too. Okay, and just to make sure, center of mass. Okay, good. That is still in the middle. But you know what? Let's go ahead and add some more stuff to study. How about some weird goo? It's always nice to know how everything reacts. A temperature gauge wouldn't be bad. And, you know, I think that should... I think that'll do it for us, actually. Now, final test run. Okay, so everything seems to be going good. I might have to move this over. Yeah, but that'll be fine. Okay, let's go ahead. We can retract these. Oh, I can't retract them. Alright, well, I think we're not doing too bad as it is. Let's go ahead and deploy that as we're moving. And the goo. What is it with the goo? The goo seems bored, as I'm sure some of you might be. Alright, let's start surface harvesting. <gasps> Wait, how do I stop? How do I stop? Breaks, 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 breaks. Uh, come on, break, 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 break. Okay. Alright, let's see. Start surface harvesting the tractor. Right, let's just retract it. We're not looking for anything right now. Right now, we just had to make sure everything works. And now comes the part I kind of suck at. <laughs> now we have to design a rocket. Okay, so that's all put away. That's great. All right, let's. <laughs> oh, let's try not to destroy our stuff here.
Bam. Okay. So, this, if I can zoom out, is our rocket, and we will call it... What should we call it? Let's call it Luna. That's what we're going to call it. It'll be Luna. First mission to the moon. Perfect. All right, so let's go see if <laughs> any of this works at all. Because now that I think about it, I don't think it's going to. And I forgot to do one crucial thing. Well, it's not really crucial. But I like doing it just because of how the engines work. So... Need more structure right here. Sweet. Let's go on there. One there. And this should be it. Alright, perfect. So now everything should be ready to launch. Uh, that said, I didn't check to make sure everything was within the right steps. Let's go ahead and check that right here once it loads. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start siphoning fuel to the engines. And we take off in 5, 4, 3, Two, one. All right, releasing struts now. And this is already a failure. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. no. All right, you know what? Let's put on a show. Forget this. Oh my gosh, that that was awful. Okay, so let's let's do let's try that again. Let's try that again. Oh, uh, that was embarrassing. <laughs> Struts all need to go into the same one. Okay, so again, just so you guys are aware, I uh, suck at these games, so... Let's go ahead and get just a little bit of fuel. Increasing that, increase, and three, two, one. Oh, I forgot wings, that's what I forgot. Uh, here we go again. Cut the engines, cut the engines, cut the engines! Launch everything! Save the shuttle! Save the shuttle! No! <laughs> Wait, did we save it? No, we did not. The battery survived. Alright, so here's what I am thinking. Is I need to add the wings. How do I forget the wings? Alright, here we are yet again. Start siphoning fuel. Okay, that looks good. Increase the throttle. Perfect. And three, two, one. And the problem's still the same. Save everything, come on. Come on, we gotta be able to at least save the rover. Is it gonna be saved? Oh, I think it just might be. No! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> all right, so fingers crossed this, this one works, but real fast, let's check where the moon's at, so, oh, we can probably do this in one go, if I'm smart about this, and we don't crash again, so, start the engines, so far good, and launch, no dramatic countdown, I'm sorry, all right, come on, Increasing throttle. <laughs> All right, we actually have liftoff. That is perfect. All right, let's go ahead and, oh no. There's no way for me to steer this. Cut the engines, cut the engines. <laughs> and it looks like we still have a good chance to make it to the moon in one go. So, let's put some throttle on the engines. Okay, that's good. Remove the struts. Alright, so far everything is going great. Just so you guys know, I swapped out the boosters to something that could actually move. And this kind of looks like a science fair project now that I look at it. 
All right, well, let's go ahead and get this guy to the mun. All right, so far we ain't doing bad. Uh, we can break the atmosphere here. Okay, we can use less engine now. Oh no, this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This isn't gonna work at this rate. We gotta rotate everything. Alright, you know what? I think we can do this. No, I can't. Oh, great. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We can't do this. Wait, can we? Oh no. Uh, we're spinning, we are spinning. We need to stop spinning. Oh, this isn't looking great. What's our trajectory looking like? Yeah, this isn't looking great at all. And it's all because I couldn't configure the freaking motors in. Uh, you know what? Let's get right here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. No, 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 no. Angle up, nose up, nose up. No, no. Uh, you know what? Up. Uh, well, there goes our space station. Okay, so everything should be fully functional. Okay, this should be it. Hopefully. I'll make sure everything is where it needs to be. Set some boost. And three, two, one. Oh my god, the freaking things still don't spin the way I need them to. That is gonna be a problem. You know what? I think I can work with this. Right here. Okay, stay there. Stay there. There we go. There we go. So this is 4,000 meters more. We can start in an orbital path. There we go. Perfect. Come on. Uh oh. We're going to be out of fuel here in a second. Uh, that is completely on me, though. Can I not get this to work the right way? So what's our path looking like right now? So we're not in bad positioning. The thing is that we have to freaking where's the base? We need to face this way. Oh, just a little bit more. And Come on, we are so close. There we go. Right there, and we should be set. Oh, no, we're not. I'm gonna have to evacuate that. Let's check our path. Oh, this is gonna be a huge failure. This is gonna be a huge failure. I guarantee it. Oh, what? No, no. Oh my gosh. You know what? We're gonna say this was a test. We're gonna test this by launching it to our own planet. 
so hopefully I can stabilize this. There we go. So far so good. We're still going up though. It isn't a good thing. Come on, I need to balance this out. Uh-oh, why is it, why aren't those things working? Uh-oh. Oh no. There we go, okay, that's perfect. It's a little bit more. Alright, come on. Alright, I am confident that this is gonna work. Let's skip ahead. And we are going down. Perfect. Let's skip ahead a little bit more. Alright, come on. There we go. For some reason, these things aren't working. These things. Are they? Yeah, no, they're not working. Guess we're gonna have to turn those off, so our best bet is to eject that thing right now. And I'm gonna have to rely on the parachutes. So, here we go. On um, once we get past that barrier, we should be good. Change the atmosphere and. Alright, perfect. Go ahead and get rid of that. Alright, now once we deploy the parachutes, everything should be working 100%. Alright, so let's go ahead and speed this up just a hair. And once we enter the late atmosphere, I mean low atmosphere. Okay, so now I will deploy the parachutes. And hopefully all goes well. Uh, where are the parachutes at? Uh-oh. 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 Come on, deploy, deploy, deploy. There we go. Okay, so far, not bad. Did we get a fireworks show? And... Wow, that is quite a ways down. Oh, man. Okay, so far, not doing half bad. Alright, whatever. We're almost on the surface. And touchdown in five, four, three, two, one. We're down. Alright, let's go ahead and cut the shoots. All of them, right? They're all cut. Okay. And send extend that antenna and I could have plotted this out better. Okay, let's go ahead and deploy. Observe the mystery goo, see what it says. We, you observe the goo, that is it. Okay, let's put some brakes on this, how do I do that? Extend the solar panels. And finally, let's transmit all the data back to base. Transmit all. 800% and I would deem this mission a success. Even though we didn't go to the moon. <laughs> but you know what? I feel confident enough. I mean, we we got it to land properly, which is what matters here. Right? Right? I mean, look at this guy. Just destruction all around. Alright, so, no, I think that's where we're going to leave it at for today. I mean, again, sorry for no arc, but yeah, the base building process is kind of intense right now because I can't collect a lot of stone. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you'd like to see more of these videos, leave a comment down below, and I would gladly play this game more often. Well, I mean for you guys. And, I mean, subscribe if you enjoyed it. So, I mean, that helps out a lot. It's sort of spreading the word. So, you know, spread the word everywhere. Oh, wait, we forgot to do this part. And, boom. Collect data. Yeah. And, wait, can I still transfer data? Unable to deploy antenna. Okay, okay, good. Oh, we still have the decoupler on us. What is this? Alright, anyway, 
I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.